but the there isn't actually any dense fog advisories as of yet, but you know, due to the you know expected fogginess that could occur tonight, and so it would be a surprise if we do end up seeing those dense fog advisories. Yes, but for more on that, let's take out to our own Troy with our overview for the nation. Yes, and we're gonna quickly pull up your overview for just a second. And as Jay already mentioned, we, we will run the risk for risks of seeing dense fog overnight. And so we're, I'm gonna overline that just in your overview, but showing you what's going on across the nation right now, you can cl cl clearly see that we do have an up-level disturbance that's moving across portions of the Midwest that has given folks there some snow. But we'll have more on that later in the show. But as far as what's going on currently across the southeast region, not terribly active at the present time. You can clearly see along the I-10 quarter throughout much of the southeast. Not too bad. We do have a, bit, a little bit of batch of showers moving through the Panhandle region. Nothing too active right now, but as Nicole will tell you later in the local, in just a couple of minutes, we will run the risk for seeing showers for the next few days. And zooming out towards the weather headlines, just to give you a recap of what's going to be happening with the weather over the next few days, as I already mentioned, fog is a definitely possibility. We will see warmer days ahead of us, but we will see a continual moisture increase over the next couple of days. And finally, as tonight's forecast, mildness in store for us, 64 degrees is the mild temperature. As I said, mildness is pretty much the theme for weather over the next few days today. So as I already mentioned throughout the desk, you know, if you like summer, you're going to enjoy it a little bit longer. Yes, indeed. But if you're in the north, you're seeing some very snowy conditions right now. Yes, and as I talked about just in the overview, that storm system that is in the upper west, that's giving folks their pretty good amount of snow, and that will shift east in the coming days, especially as you head later in the week. Yes, but Sally, for all these snow goers in Florida, you still won't be seeing snow, but even though it's more temperatures, Still no snow, sadly. Now, Jay, snow in Florida, that sounds a little bit, you know, out of the ordinary, doesn't it? But it could happen. I mean, it has happened in the past. Mm hmm And actually, you know, the back in 1989, I know my dad, you know, he, he lived near in Florida. He was in Jacksonville, and he saw three inches of snow in Jacksonville. So it's not terribly uncommon to see snow in Florida, but we won't be seeing that in the foreseeable future. Yes, but let's take it out to Brooke with our, well, first local for today. Actually, it's me, Nicole, for the first local today. Um, we're starting out, we really, we have a little bit of clouds hanging down because our dew point is so close to our rain temperature, to our, <laughs> to our actual temperature, not our rain temperature, sorry, getting ahead of myself. But um, you will see that fog later today as Jay and uh, Troy were talking about. Currently, it's 72 degrees outside. It's mostly cloudy, looks pretty dreary, and is very muggy out as that humidity is at 76%, and there's that dew point, 64. So the closer it is to our temperature, the more moisture that's in the air. So you're really feeling the stickiness, and you can see those clouds starting to dip down. Currently, it is 71 degrees in Monticello, 72 up in Bainbridge, 67 down at the coast in Carabelle. So they are really starting to see that fog lift up tonight, today and into tonight. Those temperatures, because we have all that moisture in the air, those temperatures really aren't getting low. We're used to seeing temperatures dip down into the 40s, but tonight we're only going to see those temperatures dip down into the lower to mid 60s. So it's going to be very nice out if you are if you do have plans. It's December. I'm from up north, so I'm not used to this the warm these warm temperatures. But hey, I like making fun of all my friends at home that I'm still in uh, shorts and <laughs> short sleeves. So tonight we are seeing that fog, which will linger the rest of the next couple of days as we do have a lot of moisture that's filtering in from a high pressure system down off the Atlantic um, Ocean. So it is pushing up all of that warm, moist air from the southeast. And our next system is this low system uh, across a cold front, which is pulling in some rain as well as some ice, icy conditions that will be hitting the Midwest. But that strong high pressure system is just blocking all of that out for us. So we will be continuing with those beautiful warm temperatures the next couple of days. Now tonight it will be foggy, so if you are heading out, make sure you have those low beams on to, to help with your driving conditions. It will be 64 degrees, and we are going to have those warmer than average lows as those winds are coming out of the south-southeast tonight. 
Now, our temperatures for tomorrow, a balmy 81 degrees. It is going to be very nice again. We will have those partly cloudy skies, and it will be quite warm. So if you're thinking about winter wear, not quite yet. We'll be seeing it next week, but right now you're still in the short sleeves and shorts weather, so it will definitely be warm. And our seven-day forecast leading on, those warmer conditions are continuing. 81 tomorrow, 79 on Friday, with a slight chance for a sprinkle or two tomorrow. And then if you look on into later into the week, we will see that on Tuesday and Wednesday, those temperatures are going to be taking another dip down into the cooler temperatures. And it will finally be feeling like the holidays just a little bit here in Florida. Brooke, what's going around the rest of the southeast? Well, like you're saying, there's that high pressure on over, and that's just really dragging in a lot of moisture. Over here in Tallahassee, you can also see that there's a lot of cloud coverage for most part of the southeastern part of the United States. Still a bunch of pop-up showers heading over to Alabama. A lot of heavier rain earlier today to the north of Tallahassee and also to the south of the Panhandle region, but not really directly on our part of the neck of the woods. So you can see Orlando also is just sitting in a little clear. Got pockets of sunshine for you and also down south of Miami. If you're not going to the beach and taking advantage of those little sunshines, well, I think you should definitely be doing that. But current conditions outside, Orlando sitting at 76 degrees, a lot of 70s towards the south, a lot of 60s towards the north. So you can see that these temperatures are warmer than usual for this time of the year. 72 degrees here in Tallahassee and a 75 over out in New Orleans. So again, warmer temperatures, and that's just because these winds are coming out of the south. So thanks to the goal for getting these winds that are just a lot of moisture and mugginess, and that's why we're seeing a lot of fog also when you wake up early in the morning. So again, water vapor is just showing you the moisture in that area. It's just a lot of dry wind or dry air for now, and that green just shows you the actual moisture and the activity that's going on. But for the next couple of days, again, that fog is just going to continue to stick on ground, and the high pressure on over us is just going to make that front not even hit us here. So we're not going to be affected by that colder weather. So warm to the south, cool the temperatures to the north, and just a lot of frigidness and rain to the north of us. But Tallahassee, you guys, we are in the clear for the couple of days for now. But for tonight, we have these temperatures cooling down to 62 degrees, which is not really cool for this time of the year, but I say take advantage of it because when it gets cold, it gets cold here in Tallahassee and also down south in Miami. 71 degrees, you guys, it's still very warm out there. You guys are used to those temperatures, definitely. 64 and over in Orlando. We got a little 40 over in Little Rock. So these temperatures are, again, warmer than usual thanks to that winds coming out of the south in the Gulf of Mexico. So for tomorrow, we have these temperatures climbing back on up. 80 degrees here in Tallahassee, plenty of sunshine down in Miami and the Keys. So again, if you're out there, enjoy the beach, enjoy this time because it's going to change and get a lot cooler as we move into the more seasonable time of the year. Orlando sitting at 82 degrees, so a lot of warm temperatures. But again, take advantage of this, guys, because when it changes, it will change drastically and be very warm. How about that at the desk, boys? <laughs> well, we're seeing some very interesting storms develop all across the nation, um, creating some very dangerous con um, travel conditions for um, Friday into the weekend. Yes, and the ice storm that is going to be happening later this week in the middle section of the country, right in the cold side of the storm, as we briefly mentioned earlier in the desk, you know, it's going to shift to the northeast and bring snow to parts of the northeast area. Yes, the I-10, um, I-90, and I-70 are going to be seeing some slippery conditions. So if you're going to go out and travel, make sure you stay safe and drive very carefully on the roads. And cities including Indianapolis, Cincinnati, all the way towards Pittsburgh, cities like that, you know, they're going to be in a narrow band of snow where they could be seen between one to six inches of snow. So not too significant, but still it could be strong enough to cause some travel problems. Yes, I know airports, there will be some, um, definitely some airport delays over in the south and so on the north because they're experiencing some snowy conditions as well. Yes, and you know, me being from New York, I'll be headed back home in, in about a week or so. So if I have to see some snow, I'm going to be buying that snowblower. So that or to shovel out myself. You're definitely a lucky person. How much I see snow, I'm going to the south where it's extremely hot. But for more on that, let's take it out to Chris where our national. Our temperature change. We got an extremely cold Arctic blast of air moving through the country. Now, unfortunately, for some of you folks that like the cooler weather this time of year, it's not going to be quite moving through the Big Bend area, but it will get through basically two thirds of the country, and you can already see its approach. Look, 26 degree degrees cooler than where we were yesterday at this time. 17 degrees cooler in Denver, and seven degrees cooler in Billings. But you're going to see the temperature map and those 
negative 17, so they're going to be on there. Look at uh, Billings, 4 degrees right now, and they're going to keep on dropping through the evening into tomorrow, where highs won't even get above zero. 8 degrees in Denver, 27 in Kansas City, 28 in Minneapolis, and look at Dallas. They had a high 82 today. Tomorrow they will barely break 40, and then uh, a lot of ice and snow move on the way for them and across the southeast. We got an intense, really strong area of low pressure moving through the country. So we got the moisture source, we got the cold air source, and it's going to really develop into a really dangerous situation from Dallas, Oklahoma, northern Texas, and Arkansas, and across the Tennessee and Ohio River Valley. So we'll keep an eye out for that. If you have any travels there, please stay tuned. And as far as we are concerned, we'll have some light sprinkles. You saw that dark clouds today north of the city here in Tallahassee. We got some moisture moving off on the Gulf across the southeast. Now here's our radar tour. We're going to start um, in the north where the cold is, and based this blue you see, this is all snow. And uh, nothing else to talk about there. It is snow, no rain to talk about. Temperatures are well below freezing, so you can see those really cool temperatures. This is all the way coming in from northern Canada, so we got a big system of cool air, actually cold air and some moisture to work with. Now I'm going to move out into the ocean here and you can see the mid-Atlantic and New England states. You got that moisture off the Carolina coast, but that's working its way out into the ocean. Pretty much clear from North Carolina up through Maine. So overall travels, rush hour from Washington DC through Boston should be pretty okay. And as we move on out west, you can see some more snow developing from northern uh, New Mexico into the Rockies of Colorado. So a lot of powder for the ski resorts. They're loving it. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to go uh, skiing uh, in the next couple of weeks. They got a lot of fresh power on the way. Now, across um, Florida and the southeast, some sprinkles up near the panhandle will be moving through overnight. We do got moisture to work with, but overall, pretty dry. Cool, though, extremely cold. Look at negative 14 the load tonight in Billings, negative 13 in Denver. Warm, though, in New Orleans at 67 degrees, and tomorrow, very cold. Negative 3 is only the high in Billings, 39 in Albuquerque but still warm once again over here in Florida, 80s from Tallahassee down to Miami. All right, ladies, take us back to a more broad, oh, Tyler, you're gonna give us a more local uh, look at Tallahassee's weather. I will, in fact, and before we go back to the desk, let's take a look at the weather that we had around here today. We do have some fog to start off this morning, plenty of moisture in place, but as we went to the mid-morning hours, that burned off and we did see a little bit of sunshine, but also a few showers, especially in our western areas, Gadsden and Liberty County, seeing some of that rain today as well. Uh, just kind of missed Tallahassee to our north and west. Right now, or actually our high temperatures today, we're in the low 80s officially in Tallahassee, 80 degrees here, 81 in Bainbridge. These were near record highs. In fact, we were a couple degrees away from that record high of 82 degrees set back in 1982. So not quite history making, but certainly it was very warm out there. And this um, clearly didn't update, but I assure you that the high temperature was 80 degrees. Now, right now, temperatures are in the low 70s around the region. 70 in Monticello, 68 in Quincy, 72 in Bainbridge. Fairly uniform, but we also have tons of moisture in place. Dew points are in the mid to upper range of the 60s, even 70 degrees in Bainbridge. This is about where our low temperatures will go tonight, and because those temperatures are going to be close to the dew point, which is the amount of moisture that we have at the surface, we're going to have another foggy night, and some visibilities could be down to a quarter mile or less. Also aiding in the fog is a light southerly wind. As long as these winds keep up, we won't see fog, but I think they will drop off as we go into the overnight hours, and that will allow the clouds to settle down near the surface. Around the southeast, pretty quiet. Just a couple of those rogue showers moving through, and we have an Arctic air mass well to our north and west. We're not seeing anything like that. In fact, we're in between a trough of low pressure to our northwest and a high pressure off the Atlantic coast, sandwiched in between, and so that gives us the foggy setup, the foggy commute. So make sure you give, us, give yourself some extra time over the next couple of mornings, and it may not even burn off until around noontime tomorrow. The front gets closer this weekend, but still the frigid air several hundred miles to our west. For tonight, temperatures will drop down into the mid-range of the 60s, much warmer than average, talking some 15 degrees above average. Tomorrow afternoon, partly sunny, quite warm. We reach 81 today, and I think we'll do it again on the day, well, what is it? Tomorrow's going to be Thursday. And the seven-day forecast shows a slight chance of rain pretty much every day, stuck in this warm weather pattern 
And that might change Tuesday of next week with more rain and much cooler temperatures to follow behind that. Let's go ahead and go back to the desk now with Nicole and Brooke. Thank you, Tyler. Well, we're actually taking things back a couple of days to Monday night where the Seattle Seahawks fans actually got some things uh, moving and grooving. Yeah, they definitely <laughs> shake things up over there. Well, actually, if you didn't know, there was a mini earthquake. That's right. Not so many. It was like about one to two magnitude. So that's a pretty intense earthquake out it, there. It is. It is. Actually, it's on an east-west thrust fault, Seattle. So they actually built built the stadium. So in case there was an earthquake, that would happen that it actually like shook. It shakes like this. Kinda. Right. So it kind of gives the effect <laughs> that people were just swaying back and forth really heavily Exactly. I would be a little nervous if I felt that happening, but they were so excited, jumping up and down. That Also, congratulations, guys, for breaking the Guinness World Record of the <laughs> loudest outdoor stadium noise. That's right. They hit 137.6 decibels, so it's pretty loud. They have some great fans out in Seattle. All right, well, let's just take it back to Troy. Oh, man, thank you, ladies at the desk. Some interesting statistics that you brought us there, but looking at your current temperatures across the Great Sunshine State, very mild all across the state with 70s located in central southern Florida. 76 degrees is the current temperature. In Miami, slightly cooler around the I-10 quarter, 68 degrees being the cool spot in the great state of Florida. But pretty much the story is that we're seeing these mild temperatures across the state of Florida, and they'll continue to be the trend later in the week. And it's very literally humidity, muggy right now. Our humidity levels are starting to increase. And by our evidence of our dew point temperatures, remember dew point is a good indicator as to how much moisture there is in the atmosphere. And when, when it starts to get warm, muggy air out, when dew points start to rise, and you know, then it starts to get really, really more muggy out, folks. And, and I know for me, you know, when it starts to get muggy out, then you know, it starts to get a little bit uncomfortable. But, and the reason why we're seeing this increased moisture is our winds, when they start to come out of the south like they are now, then that brings in that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, and that's going to be juicing up our atmosphere over the next couple of days, and it's going to lead to increased rain chances later down the road. You can already begin to see that as evidenced by water vapor energy, indicated by these green colors, which indicates the more increased moisture in the upper levels of the atmosphere. And you can see that it's beginning to funnel in across the Gulf of Mexico into the state of Florida, and that's going to be in responsible for increased moisture and increased rain chances over the next couple of days. So hopefully you have your umbrellas in handy. It won't be a washout by any means, and it's clearly not a washout right now. Like you see most of the state is dry, you know, good travels along I-95 from Miami to Jacksonville. So if you're traveling on that interstate, you know, I want to travel on interstate too, but I'm stuck here, so I'm giving you this weather. So in the meantime, you know, traveling on I-10 is also looking good right now. And our future cast of what's going to be happening weather weather over the next couple of days. You see this cold front that is straight across the northwest, to our northwest, associated with the tropical pressure that Tyler alluded to earlier. And the high pressure off towards the east is going to draw that southerly flow. And that warm air blowing through the cooler waters of the Gulf of Mexico is going to lead to the chance for increased fog. So if you travel along I-10, please take it easy because we more than likely will see reduced visibility. And so just take it easy for travel along I-10 or I-55 or pretty much any other states around the Indian areas. But extend out towards Thursday, you can see low pressure beginning to make its way towards the east. And extend your time on the out to Friday morning, you can see cold, frigid Arctic air from the north begin to filter in. And portions of Memphis and Little Rock could see the chance for s some snow to eat ice. And ice is very dangerous to travel along that road. So if you have any travel plans to go up towards, you know, say Memphis, even Jackson, or, a little or Tupelo, just make sure to be careful out on the road. Tonight's forecast, more mountainous and storm temperatures in the 60s and 50s across the great state of Florida. Tomorrow's forecast, temperatures will be bumping right up into the 80s. And Tyler, I just know you want to bump those temperatures up. But fortunately, you're going to be talking about winter weather, so you can't really do that. Yeah, you mentioned the great state of Florida, and this is why, because everywhere else has some winter weather issues, and we're going to be talking about that over the next few minutes. Current conditions, well, really cold temperatures we have here in the Rockies, and it's all moving east, but going to stay to our north. So that's the good news for us Tallahassee folk. Four degrees in Billings, eight degrees in Denver, and yes, some places higher up in the Mountains are below zero, and that's only going to get worse. Temperatures have really dropped over the last 24 hours. We're 13 degrees colder there in Phoenix, 17 degrees colder in Denver. You can clearly see where that system is. 
26 degrees cooler in Kansas City, but still 12 degrees warmer in Memphis than this time yester yesterday. But Memphis, you're going to get in on the snow and or even some ice in the next day or so. Around the nation, as far as the satellite and radar picture is concerned, Notice the band of snow across the upper Midwest, extending down into Colorado, and even the desert southwest. Highs going into tomorrow are only going to be in the 30s and 40s, while we'll be stuck in the 80s. So let's go ahead and show you what it looks like. A little closer look up toward Fargo, North Dakota, and the northern tier of the country. Certainly snowy conditions here, extending back to the uh, Rockies. The storms are starting to end there, the snow, that is. And then we still got some of it along the eastern flank of the Rockies. Let me show you the advisories that we have, kind of zip past the northern tier of the country, but here's what I want to focus on. Along the uh, long and just to the north of the I-30 corridor, ice warning in effect, especially as we go into Thursday night and into Friday morning, ice is a major concern if you're traveling even along I-40 into Memphis over the next uh, couple of days. It's going to be a mess on the roadways and otherwise we have a winter storm warning. Areas in pink here, the lighter pink, Three, six inches of snow could fall over the next 24 to 48 hours. And because of all this mess, weather-wise, we have a mess of the airports. Two-hour delay on average in Minneapolis-St. Paul. So definitely if you're traveling, you're going to want to check ahead uh, because it's going to be a lot of cancellations, I imagine, for those airports. Plains. Now tonight, temperatures are going to be well below zero, 14 below in Billings, 13 below in Denver, a mere one above in Salt Lake City. Meanwhile, the east still waiting for that cold air to come in, 60 in Atlanta, 62 in Tallahassee. Again, we're not going to feel the effects of that cold until maybe Tuesday of next week. High temperatures tomorrow will barely get above zero in many places, 57 degrees though in Memphis. The ice will be coming later tomorrow night. Again, a major ice storm in the works among snow and sleet. They could see a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of ice accumulation in the mid-south and portions of the western Tennessee Valley as we go into tonight and tomorrow. But let's go ahead and go back to Nicole and Brooke at the desk. Well, we were talking about Seattle earlier, but let's just mm -hmm. take things over to Europe abroad, who are going to be seeing very intense winds coming up. That's right. That's right. England, uh, the United Kingdom through Scandinavia and Ireland are seeing winds hitting how many how many miles per hour? A lot. Let's talk about 50 miles per hour. So that's almost like kind of like tropical storm. It is. Yeah. Intensity up yeah. there. So those are really heavy winds. It is. They can see gusts even up to 75 miles per hour, and even in some isolated areas, they're going to see 90 mile per hour right. gusts. So at a category. 41 hurricane would be 74 miles per hour so imagine that's 75 out there so that's a really big deal that's right that is it's really intense so people really have to be careful that trees are getting knocked down and they're driving make sure they're safe and also the roofs are getting knocked off they're just they're not having the greatest time out yeah, over there. yeah and they don't really see these conditions that very often especially no. there's a lot of rain out there but not yeah. a lot of heavy winds yeah so it's a little scary but let's send things back over to jay right now as he closes things out for our last local thanks nicole well, it's been a very hot, humid day in Tallahassee, but I know it stopped me from studying and getting my study party on. But when we take a look at the current town conditions, see 72 degrees, it's been mostly cloudy day, so it made for a little bit cooler, but not as much because it's still close to our dew point, so it made it quite humid and muggy out there today. Like I said, um, temperatures 72 degrees in Tallahassee, it didn't feel like it because, again, it was close to the dew point, making it a little bit more muggy. Uh, St. Margaret's saying 72, and Carabell, you said a cool 67 degrees, so the Big Bend region, seeing upper um, 60s, lower 70s, but muggy all around the Big Bend region. And the, even though we see some storms out there in the Tallahassee region, that did not cool us off one bit because, again, it was close to the dew point. But again, those storms still make it a 20% chance in our area for rain. But for most of Florida, they're seeing some cloudy um, cloud cover and some rain chances in 20, 30% chance for rain. So you might want to bring that umbrella and ponchos for out tonight and, and later on this week because the rain chances will still be sticking around. But when we see the, um, the future cast, see the fog area, which we, we we're going to be under a fog advisory for tonight and tomorrow, and it could be upgraded to a dense fog warning because of this low that's going to start making its way into the, our region, um, bringing in some cooler air and also making it a lot more foggy in the night and into the morning. And Thursday, we're going to see a little bit cool temperatures. But also, it's going to bring a lot more rain chances, but also bring us a little bit warmer weather. As you see here, you see that warm air coming up from the equator all the way up to us, bringing some nice warm temperatures. So unlike, it, you know, it's December, we're still seeing some July weather, very warm outside. 
But we also, that low is going to bring in some thunderstorms as well. So make sure you have the umbrellas and ponchos handy for the rest of the week because we'll be seeing rain chances 20 30%. When we take a look at tonight's forecast, 64 degrees, it's going to be foggy, warmer than average. I looked at the future cast and it showed like 15 to 20, um, 20 degrees um, over the normal and to tonight and our lows as well. So it's making it a lot more warmer outside. When we take a look at tomorrow's forecast, see 81 degrees partly sunny, still going to be quite warm, so their air conditioners, even though it's December, it's going to be cranked up on high. I know for me, window's going to be open, air's going to be on blast, I'm not going to see that frigid weather like I like seeing in December. And when I step out the way for a seven day forecast, like I said before, um, the wind chance is going to be at 20% all of the week, and Monday, Tuesday, the wind chance goes skyrocketed up to 40 and 70% respectively, as well as the degrees still staying up and Still staying up in the 70s, and hopefully when we hit the Tuesday and Wednesday, it starts dropping slightly back down, and it starts seeing some December-like winter. But let's take it back to the lovely ladies at the desk. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Jay. I know we're <laughs> flattered over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're actually we're gonna move things back into the U.S. and like everyone hit upon, there is that ice storm that's coming across the Midwest. Exactly. So. Well, luckily people are probably done with their travels, so if you went home it's for good. Thanksgiving, you beat all that storms and stuff. Right? Yeah, that is. That's really good. But we're getting all those balmy conditions right now, but they're really dealing with ice, the potential for some snow right. and sleet as well. So this wintry mix is, is hitting from Texas all the way up to Arkansas and even into Ohio. Right, and Arizona are seeing snow in Mississippi, uh, mm -hmm. Missouri, sorry, Illinois, <laughs> Indiana, Ohio, as well as some western and central Pennsylvania areas. So Philadelphia, you guys are in the target zone. That's right. That's right. You're definitely going to see some, some snow and some colder conditions while us Floridians are feeling nice and warm down here. Oh, we're enjoying our moisture <laughs> out there. See those temperatures? 81 degrees. Mm -hmm. That's are that's right. They're great. They're I love I'm it. I'm not complaining. I'm actually really happy about that. <laughs> I am. I'm really happy too. But <laughs> we are going to catch that those colder conditions moving on into uh, our finals week. We that's have a right. Lot of tests that week, guys. That's so right. that's, that's perfect right. study weather. Exactly. So we're going to be having a good time indoors, checking out the rain outside. So Tuesday <laughs> dipping down to 64, and Wednesday all the way down to 59. That's really cold, but those we're a little spoiled. We are. Hey, if you like us, make sure you like us on <laughs> Facebook and follow us on Twitter. <laughs> anything else? Instagram. Yeah, and as always, check us out live at livestream.com slash FSU weather. From all of us here at 4FC weather.